instead of having one president, yeah. we have two presidents. Two. Oh. Yes, two out of state at okay. the same time, at the same level, yeah. and they change every six months. Every six months. Really quickly. Wow. Yes. This is our way to preserve democracy. Okay. Because we are well known for being one of the oldest republics in the world. Oh. Yo, what's up, people? We are here um, at, at the San Marino, San Marino Pavilion at uh, Expo. So today we got an, a guest from San Marino. So she's going to introduce herself and uh, try to enlighten us a little bit on two questions. So introduce yourself to okay. you. So I'm Martina. Okay. I'm a San Marinese okay. and I'm here to uh, represent my country in Expo. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, how do you feel to see your country represented here at the World Expo? Okay, I think it's really a big opportunity for us yeah. because we are one of the smallest countries in the world yeah. and here we can promote ourselves and make visitors discover a beautiful reality which is San Marino. Exactly, okay. So you guys heard, so what's the capital city of San Marino? Oh, it's called City of San Marino. The same yes. name also. Exactly. That's great, that's something new I learned today. Yeah, so if there are some people who wish to visit San Marino, what advice can we give to those people generally? Okay, so it's really easy to reach San Marino yeah. because we are so small that we haven't our own airport, but you can uh, reach the nearest in Italy, which is the Bologna one. Bologna. And then one hour by train, bus or car yeah. and you reach San Marino. Awesome. It's really easy because between Italy and San Marino, yeah. there are no pass control, okay. so no visa required. No visa required. Yes. Yeah. I will yeah. tell you where is located San the Marino, San Marino for sure. San Marino is a micro state in Mi southern Europe. Okay. And it's totally enclaved by Italy. Okay. Here. So it's an independent republic, yeah. but inside Italy. Italy, it's okay. Similar to Vatican. Okay. Awesome. Vatican is here, while San Marino is here, yeah. in front of the Adriatic coast, oh. and between all the main Italian cities, for example, Venice, yeah. Florence, Rome. I thought San Marino was an island, is it not? No, it's not, because okay. we are surrounded by all the sides okay. from Italy. Okay. So we have no contact with, with the sea, sea. directly. Okay. Yes. Okay. But for reaching the beach, for example, we have just 20 minutes by car, awesome. crossing the nearest Italian city, awesome. which is Rimini, yes. That's great. Awesome. Even if we share the same Italian culture, because yeah. Uh, for example, we speak Italian, eat Italian food, as a and similar story. And the language also? Is Italian, oh, okay. yes. But we have our own government, yeah. the laws which are different from the Italian one. Okay. So, uh, politically, economically, financially, and yeah. legally, we are separated from the Italian. Italia, how yes. Instead of having one president, yeah. we have two presidents. Two. Oh. Yes, two out of state at okay. the same time, at the same level, yeah. and they change every six months. Every six months. Really quickly. Wow. Yes. This is our way to preserve democracy. Okay. Because we are well known for being one of the oldest republics in the world. Oh, sorry. And we want to maintain that state. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I understand, yeah. This is something that is recognized. It uh, made San Marino recognizable around the world, yeah. and also UNESCO in 2008 yeah. recognized that valor of uh, independence and democracy. And um, since that day, San Marino became a UNESCO heritage and site. Also. Yes, also for our beautiful landscape, yeah. which is uh, um, based on uh, on the top of a mountain okay. because uh, the San Marinese territory is mountainous. Mountain, yeah. Yes. And we have this mountain, Mount Tetenus. Okay. On the top of it, we have the historical city center, wow. which is a medieval one. So really uh, evocative and suggestive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And almost, and every year we have almost two million visitors to come. Two million. Yes. Because um, I have to say that tourism is our main resource in the economy. Uh, for sure, yes. I understand. Even if we have also lots of my cultures, business and something like that, but tourism is at the number one. Number one, yes. yeah. I see. And San Marino is really, really small because yeah. it's just 61 square kilometers Whoa. for 33,000 people of population. 33,000? 
Yes. Okay. So after Vatican City and yeah. Monaco, we are the third, third smallest th country in the world. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. It's something Number particular. Three. And here on this map, yes. you see the blue spot of yeah. San Marino. Okay. But also all these other spots, Abu Dhabi, Nürburgring, London, and New York. Yeah. And that's because of the treasure, which is the main focus of our exhibition project. So what is this exactly? This is a treasure, yeah. uh, datable around the end of the 5th century AD and the beginning of the 6th century AD. Okay. And it was found in San Marino in 1892. Oh. At the time there was no law who can permit to preserve the heritage inside our country. Yeah. So it has been sold and now all the original pieces are spread in all the museums you see on the map. Okay. So Louvre Abu Dhabi, British yeah. Museum in London, Metropolitan in New York, and Germanic Natural Museum in Nürburgring. Okay. This is our way to yeah. interpret the Expo Logos of yeah. connecting minds. Exactly. Because from a small country, country. We, uh, we're trying to spread our culture in three different continents. That's great. So that's beautiful. Yeah. This is really important because it's an Ostrogothic find. Yeah. So it's of the medieval period. Yeah. And it's not only um, precious in terms of history, but also for the material. Because as you can see, it's yeah. all made by gold. Gold, huh? And jewels, which are rubinos and esmeralds. Okay. So yes, it's really rich. And the one you're seeing here is not the original, okay. but it's neither a copy. We say that it's something more, yeah. because it's a reproduction made by an um, uh, experimental archaeologist okay. who recreates it nowadays, uh -huh. but not using the modern techniques, okay. like for example, thread stamps. Yeah. He used the ancient tools and the medieval techniques okay. called on croisonne. Yeah. So it's really difficult to distinguish the original one from the Photo. copy. I yes. see. Awesome. And yes. for, for create this, yeah. uh, the goldsmith, which, which is an Italian one, is called Marco Casagrande, okay. um, has to um, ask for permission to all this museum. Okay. And beyond, behind every single piece, we oh. have uh, a stamp who, uh, that means that these are copies, not okay. the original. Oh, it's really it's diff yeah. difficult to, uh, to Yes. Okay, I see. Compare. And on the back of the installation, you can see how proudly it was worn. Who's this? It's the treasure. Okay, yes. yeah. How on probably the... it has us. Yeah, okay, okay. I see. Yeah. It's great. Your name? Martina. Yeah, I just heard what Martina said right now about the country. So this is exactly an opportunity for you to just go there and travel and discover about the beautiful country. Thank you very much Martina. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.